Hi guys, it's Liquid Silence and welcome to the first video on my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at some basic logic gates in Minecraft and also uh, how to build them. So let's get to it. Here we have the NOT gate, the OR gate, the AND gate and the XOR gate. Now I did not build these in the most compact or most efficient or you know, best looking way. I built them so that the guys that are beginning to learn redstone can easily understand the mechanics behind these types of gates and so you can go and use this knowledge in your own worlds or uh, make up your own designs or go check out other more compact designs on YouTube. Cool, so let's start out. First up is the NOT gate or the inverter. Now in Minecraft uh, the NOT gate is pretty much just a redstone torch because uh, the torch inverts the signal that is given to it. So if you give it a true, it outputs a false. If you give it a false, it outputs true. Easy as that. Next up is the OR gate. Now an OR gate will give a true output if either of these inputs are true. So n if one of them are true or two of them are true, it will give a true as an output. It will only be false if all of the inputs are false. Next up is the AND gate. Now the AND gate will only give a true as an output when all of the inputs are true. So if 1 and 2 and 3 are true, you have a true as an output. Otherwise, it will be false. Last but not least, we have the exclusive OR, or the XOR, the EXOR, whatever you want to call it. The difference between the XOR and the OR gate is that the, this gate excludes the both condition of the OR gate. So in the OR gate, if both of these are true, you'll have a true as an output, both with the XOR you have a false. So the XOR will only give a true if one of these inputs are true. Now when it comes to multiple inputs XOR gates it becomes sometimes quite difficult to remember the logic now when this will be on, when this will be off. The easiest way for me to remember that is when um, there are an uneven number of true inputs you will have a true as an output. Just something interesting to remember. Um, I'll put a link on the screen if you want to check out the more compact way to build this and if you want to know how to expand this, maybe have a 3, 4, 5 input XOR. Okay, now that you have a basic understanding of how the logic of these gates work, let's go check out how to build them and I'll explain some of the redstone while we're doing that. Now, if you are a redstone pro or know, know all these stuff already, this is just a tutorial for those guys that are just getting into the whole redstone thing. And I remember when I started out it was complicated for me to understand all these compact and integrated circuits in Minecraft, but you know, it helped to go check out the videos where the basics are explained. So, let's go and build them. Okay, so first up is the inverter or the NOT gate. So, basically, as I said, the NOT gate is just a redstone torch. All you have to do is power the torch with your input signal, and then you'll have your gate. So when the input is off, signal is on, and input is on, signal is off. Easy as that. Next up is the OR gate. Now <laughs> this is really simple. You just connect up all your inputs to a single output and that's it. Nothing more to it. Now you can also latch on other inputs like so or like so. You can just throw them in. Just make sure they're all connected to the same output and be wary of your signal strength. When your strength gets low, like this, just remember to pop in a repeater and you'll have a nice fresh signal on the other side. Cool. Okay, now it's time for the AND gate. Now, as I said, an AND gate will give you a true output when all of the inputs are true. So, when 1 and 2 and 3 are true, your output will be true. Let's begin by placing some repeaters facing into blocks with redstone torches on. And you want repeaters going out of these, like so. You just connect up all the outputs to a single place and invert them. So let's just pop an inverter there. Let's bring out the signal around so we can see what's going on. So when all of these are active, then you'll have a true as an output, like that. Now this is also infinitely expandable, just like the OR gate. All you have to do is copy the exact same pattern and connect up all the outputs. So what you want to do is just copy this like so, oops, let's place that back um, there we go connect up the outputs and you'll have a 4 input AND simple 
Last but not least is my huge and extremely bulky <laughs> XOR gate. Um, now if you are a pro at redstone you will probably be laughing at this, but this design is for those that are having a hard time understanding those compact circuits. Now first you want to place redstone inputs going into two sticky pistons. Uh, place two conductive blocks on these. Uh, they must be conductive otherwise this will not work. Then have repeaters facing into them, uh, facing into that, facing there and then connect these two and then invert them. You can have the torch on either side, you can actually have the torch anywhere that connects to this redstone and then you just take out the output over there and power these two. Now let me quickly explain what is going on here. Um, with an XOR you want a false output if both of the inputs are false and if both of the inputs are true. Now this is uh, for a two input XOR. Okay, so um, how this works is if um, both of these are on, then it completes a circuit going uh, here. So the circuit goes through these two blocks, and uh, it, so yeah, you get a true that's inverted by the torch to give a false. Now, when one of these uh, are on a, another space, you can see no, none of these two circuits are completed. So you have a false as an output which gets turned into a true. Yeah, that's it. I hope you understand um, what's going on here and uh, <laughs> my explanations hopefully aren't too crappy. But yeah, it's my first video. Let me know what you guys thought of it. And <laughs> let me know if I'm a noob, if my videos are stupid, if you hate my designs, whatever. Just leave a comment, like or a dislike, whichever you like. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time.